If you've been wondering, should I be using a water pan in my smoker? This is the video for you. Hey, I'm Steve from Cookout Coach. We're all about trying to help you take your barbecue to the next level, no matter what you need. Today we're gonna to be talking about is a really common question. All the time I get questions from people asking me, should I be running some sort of water pan in my smoker? So today I thought what we'd talk about is some of the things that water pans don't do and some things that they do. First off, let's get the elephant in the room out of the way early. A water pan in your cooker will not make your barbecue more moist. I can see how someone might start off with that conclusion, but if you think about it logically, whenever we're cooking a piece of protein, as soon as it starts to heat up, that moisture starts to rush for the edges. We know this is just how things work, and it's evidenced in things like the stall, which we'll talk about in a later video. But knowing that from the time your meat hits the smoker, that it's pushing moisture out of it, there is no way, no amount of water or moisture or anything that could be in that smoker that can force moisture back into the protein. So running a water pan in your smoker will not make your barbecue more moist. Now that that's out of the way, let's go ahead and talk about the advantages of running a water pan in your smoker. To begin with, when I run a water pan in my smoker, it's typically one of these. And you might be sitting there going, well, Steve, that's actually a half-size hotel aluminum steam pan. And you're right. That sort of leads into the first thing we want to talk about is if you run a smoker that comes with a water pan as part of the design, it's probably best that you leave that water pan in and run it. None of my char griller smokers have a water pan designed into them. So when I run a water pan, I like to run those disposable steam pans. It just makes cleanup easy. I can reuse them, but hey, if something happens, if something gets really nasty, I just pitch it, we're out a few cents, move on to the next. Now, when I put these in my smoker, I like to get as much steam action coming off of them as possible. I like for that water to absorb as much energy as it can and then impart it on its way. So in the acorn here, I set the water pan directly on top of my cooking stone. When it comes to things like my Competition Pro Offset Smoker, I'll put it right up against the firebox and almost use it as a baffle. The first advantage, when we get that water hot, we suddenly now have a huge heat sink. Temperature swings will be more mild. This is because we all know that water boils at my particular elevation at about 212 degrees. Even if you're at the highest elevations in the States, you know, it'll be somewhere around 200 degrees, but we've got a set point. So if you open the lid and your cooker loses a bunch of heat, guess what? We've got a huge heat sink of water that's ready to help balance that heat out as soon as you close the lid again. And if we wanna get into the physics side of it, which there are plenty of people that are smarter than I that can talk about this, steam transfers energy better than just convection air. When we get that water hot and boiling and that steam is coming off of there, that is transferring that energy to our protein. So. You know, if you want to get really nerdy about this, we're not just cooking, we're moving energy from one source to the next. And that steam, that hot water vapor, is going to be way more efficient at that than just air. Basically, that's a long-winded way to say that it's more efficient. The next advantage is that your humidity in your cooker will be maxed out. You might be going, why is that an advantage? Well, if you're like me, and you're trying to hone the craft of barbecue, sometimes you need to isolate variables and make things the same every time. Of course, cooking outside, one day it could be a beautiful day, another day it could be very humid, another day a thunderstorm could pop up. All of those are gonna change the relative humidity, which will also change the humidity inside of your cooker because you're drawing in the air from the environment, using it to fuel our fire, and then run through our cooker. If we've already got the humidity in our cooker maxed out at 100%, that can't change. So especially when we talk about things like competition cooking, I like it for the sake of keeping every variable the same every time. Another great advantage is it keeps meat from burning. Now, if you've ever had a smoker and you loaded a bunch of pork butts on it and it just starts to rain fat when that fat starts to render, you get a great like old school smell for a little bit, right? But too much of that will lead to a greasy, sooty, smoky taste on your food. You really don't want that. It's, it's very off-putting. But if there's a water pan in your cooker on anything, for instance, the egg corn or the Competition Pro like we've talked about, we can move some of that meat over top of that water pan and as soon as that grease falls into the water, it's not going to burn. So we can eliminate a large portion of that grease to where it's still an element of our cook, it's still a, a good flavor that we can add, 
but we can control how much of it's there and how much it burns. It's, it's very important. If you've ever experienced that off-putting flavor, you know that you don't want that as a, as a common flavor in your barbecue. And the most evident advantage of this is it keeps the outside of our meat moist. Now, I know what you're thinking. Steve, you just said it won't make my barbecue more moist, but now you're saying it's gonna keep the outside moist. And yeah, that's, that's true, I did just say that. Here's the thing, where you would normally keep something moist by spritzing it, if you have a water pan, you still may need to spritz, but you're not gonna have to do it as often. You've sort of got an auto spritzer going on there. If you're like me, I hate videos where they say they're gonna talk about something, but they don't give you an answer. So here's the short of it. Water pan, in your smoker, it's good. Is it necessary? No. Do I like them? Yes. Do I run them? Yes. Even when they're not made into the smoker? Yes. But you've really got to experiment on your own and figure out what you like. I can run this cooker with or without a water pan. It all depends on what sort of experience I want to have that day. And the only way you'll know which experience you want to have is by having multiple experiences. So I've noticed you've been eyeing this egg corn. Well, if you want to know what I think about it, meet me over here in this video. Let's talk about my three-year review. I'll see you in a few.